So are you guys telling me that these people deceived 200 million Nigerians and this whole justice for Mubad will never happen? Because I don't understand why they came out after conducting the, uh, the autopsy sometime in, in September or October when uh, Mubad died. They actually said they were conducting an autopsy. It took them close to six months before they came out with a result saying that they could not ascertain what actually killed Mubad and it seems as if everything was done and this people actually told us that this toxicology test was done in the US. We all believed and was waiting patiently for the last six months hoping that it will bring it will yield results not knowing that all this while when we were waiting no result was in fact they were not doing anything at all they're not just saying that our papa they did not care like and it got me thinking like who are they protecting who are the people behind this boy's death that is trying all means to frustrate the justice this guy is supposed to get because i don't understand why you guys lied to us that they were doing a toxicology test like it just be like the whole government they lie they give us right now because now police they in charge of this thing and they say they did a toxicology test and um it, it, they could not find anything and now the lab just came out to to deny ever having such thing brought to them like why like i don't understand who is behind this like there is more than meet the eye when it comes to this mubat death because i don't understand how a lot of people were in a particular house and somebody died no two of their confession were the same no two confession nobody can vividly say this was what happened and the next person is saying this the same thing and it rhymes that's there is a conspiracy like it's so unfortunate that mobad was in the mix of his enemies mobad was in the mix of people who do not love him as in nobody's excluded as i'm talking right now because i don't see any reason why his wife his brother his friends everybody was in that same house and mobad died and nobody has been able to really say what really happened and two people at least the two people that were trusted would be like oh this person's story and this person's story is the same everybody's story is separate like it, it honestly in everything you are doing in this life in this country nigeria that you are no die because justice will never be saved for you because everything is happening to frustrate anything that will ever bring anything that will make somebody die and they are shouting justice for you there will be no justice because the system is superly corrupt like who are they protecting who are behind this thing because it's beginning to be suspicious to me for my mouth and i will hear do you understand it's beginning to be suspicious because how can a full body in the country lie about something like this so who are you protecting that means there is more that we need to know i just hope that god rest mobad so because for the justice i'm not really sure that mobad will really get that justice because it's really unfortunate, to be really honest. Very, very unfortunate.